Fridays. We love the fact we're able to welcome the headliner from the Funny Bone into our studio. So you have a chance to get to know him before you go see him up on stage a little later on that evening or on Saturday evening, Molly. Yeah, Joe List with us this morning. He's a you're a New Englander by uh, by growing up, but now you're based out in New York, right? Yeah, I am a New Englander. I live in New York. I'm sorry about the Patriots. <laughs> I'm just, no, so obviously, yeah. that, that happens all the time. Whenever they, you say New Englander or you're from New England, Patriots comes up. Yeah, people hate them because they win every year. Evidently, <laughs> some people seem to think they cheat. Um, what are you going to do? I, uh, I keep track of the wins, not the cheats. Um, but it's how people are like, how could you be a Patriots fan? I'm like, I grew up there. What do you yeah. want me to do? Yeah. You know That's what I mean? true. And uh, I remember them being 1-15 in and the games we blacked out on TV because they didn't sell out. So, uh, you know, to hell that. with all these people. Yeah. yeah, I couldn't even watch games. <laughs> I remember one of the saddest moments of my whole life. I was talking to my dad. I was like nine years old. And we would watch Monday Night Football together every week. And I was like, how come the Patriots are never on? And this is like the most sincere conversation my dad and I ever had. He like sat me down and was like, well, son, Monday Night Football is for the good teams. And I like started crying. I was like, oh. And uh, it was like a really sad moment. So now they can cheat and win. I just love it. I'm glad that's great. the saddest moment of your life. You probably had a I've, pretty good life then. I've had a really good life, everybody. I've <laughs> uh, been very successful. Uh, <laughs> No, you started comedy. successful. Why did I say that? I'm not successful. <laughs> I made 12 grand last year. I don't know what I'm talking about. You did? Money is not, yeah. Success is not based on money, Joe. Yeah. Well, that's what we're telling ourselves. That's what uh, Tom and Craig did. That's yeah. what we're telling ourselves here. Oh, oh wow. Jeez. But you started comedy at a young age. I did, yeah. I started when I was 18. Mm -hmm. yeah. Fresh out of school? Yeah, I graduated high school and uh, just started going to like open mic nights and stuff, and it's progressed. And What was the allure? of getting up on stage? Um, I don't know. I just, I think I was like a shy guy and uh, didn't, you know, make love very much. <laughs> uh, decided to, you know, I thought if I could, you know, make people laugh, maybe that would help. Oh, so com far it hasn't, but. <laughs> yeah, comedy You're still gets open. the women, yeah. huh? Okay, didn't realize. But We're you had to have known you had a, a talent for it. Yeah, I was a funny guy, I think. I was like, a, I have a funny guy, but I was very shy. I'm still shy now. I am really muscling through this here. Um, <laughs> you said that right coming in, and I thought you were being sarcastic about being shy, because I would say to myself, how can someone who's a comedian on stage be shy? How do you how do you skirt that shyness to the back and come out bold on a stage? Boy. Well, on stage it's easy because I have control. I'm the only one talking so hopefully yeah preferably I'm the only one talking um so you kind of like i'm gonna go say these things and the people will listen and hopefully enjoy it uh but socially it's a much like people like do you get nervous with the show I'm like no i get nervous after the show talking to audience members oh. and they're like you're great and i'm like Gah! i don't know what to say now speaking of people talking during the show do you handle hecklers very well I, yeah, I'm not a snapper. I have no ability. Some comedians will like confront people and be like, shut up, you're, what, you're such and such, but they could beat me up. So I just kind of like go. Uh, so, like the other day, people, there's two people talking, and I was like, I, you're kind of distracting me. It's hard to, for me to concentrate. And the girl was like, oh, sorry. And then she started listening and enjoyed the show. So that's like the ideal situation. So apparently she um, didn't know why and what was going on and why she was there yeah, originally. Yeah, I, right. I think some people just aren't aware that they're having a conversation while you're performing to them. Just ended up there at the Funny Bone. Now, you've been here before. You've been here about, what, three years ago? I was here three years ago. And you had a chance to go to uh, go see an Iowa State basketball game. Which one did you go see? I saw Iowa State. It was January of 2013, and it was Iowa State versus uh, Kansas, and oh. Iowa State lost in overtime. It was a national oh. game. It was yeah, an ESPN That's coming game. up this Monday. That oh, game, really? That game is coming up. Iowa State, Kansas at Iowa State coming up Monday. Maybe I should stay. Yeah. Well, the snow <laughs> might keep me here. So. I wonder how you got tickets to that game. I went on, like, StubHub. I spend all my money on uh, basketball games and sporting <laughs> events. So that's your that's your passion? <laughs> that's 12,000? Yeah, it's my only vice is going, not my only vice, but uh, <laughs> going to uh, sporting events, yeah. Your favorite? Yeah. Your, so. your, fa your favorite sporting event? What, what type of sport? I, I love them all. College basketball is probably my favorite because it's kind of, it's, you're canned in there. And then the band is rocking and it's, it's such a small atmosphere that it gets the loudest and kind of the funnest. And the anticipation of a three-point shot Mm. Who's your college basketball, basketball team? I don't have one, which is what makes it so enjoyable. I, I enjoy sports more when my team is not in it, and you can just watch okay. and enjoy. But when I was in Ames, I was an Iowa State fan just because I didn't want to get, you know, beat up. Yeah. Beat up yeah. <laughs> Molly Nelson here played uh, basketball for Drake University. Oh, wow. So you can cheer for them. Yeah, I will. Okay. I'll be a Drake fan. Sunday, the women play. Actually, they play this weekend. <laughs> yeah, so wow. there you go. Now you have a team. Yeah, I love hoop. 
love it. We should play. Uh, I'm play two on two. I am absolutely. Wheel the backboard in here. We'll see if we can get a, one, a two on two game going here. That'll be perfect. It is not. It's 8:30 right now. We will be right back. This is Great Day Live on KCWI.